After selling several hundred thousands of dollars in personal training for myself and other trainers, as well as coaching other trainers on how to sell more training, I've learned that for everyone who's buying a service, there are three essential keys that need to happen. Without hitting these keys, your potential clients will see no value in your services. These are the three keys to selling personal training. Their goal needs to be very, very important to them. I love a good sales pitch, and I love a bad one even more. Oftentimes I'll be at the mall and somebody will approach me to buy a product. I can remember a time when one of these guys came up to me to buy some hand cream. He told me all about his lotion, he said it was made from seawater, had all these amazing extracts in it, and then he asked to see my hands. Now to give you an idea, I lift weights and I have for several years. When he looked at my hands, he saw that my hands had thick calluses on them, they looked dried, they looked cracked, and as he looked over my hands, I saw something happen in his eyes. His eyes filled with dollar signs. I could tell that this guy was thinking, this guy needs my lotion. He then applied the lotion and he asked, do you like the way it smells? I say, yeah, it smells pretty good. He says, do you see how smooth your hands feel now? And I say, yeah, I do. And then he says, do you think that it would help get rid of your calluses? I said, yeah, it actually might. Then he goes on to tell me the price. It's $90 a bottle. I say, no thanks. He says, well, today, if you really like it, I can probably get it to you for $70 a bottle. It's still a no. He then goes and says, well, let me go check with my manager and see if we can do anything for you. He checks with his manager and he comes back and he says, manager doesn't normally do this, but I can actually get it to you for $50 a bottle. It's still a no. After a few more back and forths, he drops the price to $25 a bottle with a lifetime resupply at $25. I still say no. Why? Because I don't care! Your clients are the same way. If you're trying to pitch them on personal training and you haven't figured out what their major goal is, they will not buy from you. They will not even come into the gym to achieve that goal. And that's why it's so important to figure out what's important to your client before you do anything with them. They need to know that they can't do it on their own. Now that you've found your client's most important goal, they need to realize that they can't do this on their own. They need to realize that they need help in achieving their goals. One of the biggest reasons for failure in the gym is overconfidence. People are usually overconfident on how easy it will be to stay motivated, to learn the exercises, and to stay consistent. If you are a good trainer, you'll have seen hundreds of people, if not thousands of people who have made this mistake. The way around this is to investigate the individual's exercise history and see if you can help them find problems with either the results that they've had or with the experience that they've had. If you can do this, they will have to admit that they would like some help, in which case they are ready for the final key. Your solution needs to be their very best solution. If they can find their answer on Google, they won't need to spend thousands of dollars on you. You have to provide them with the most custom support system that they can't get anywhere else. This is how they will justify the cost of having such a high level of trainer. Listen to what the client's looking for, where they've struggled in the past, what you can do to help them. Show them what you can do and how much it costs for your program, and if you present this properly and it meets their budget, you will absolutely have a new client. These are the three keys to selling personal training. In future videos, I will go over exactly how to do this with any client that may come across your path. But with this video, if you're ever confused as to why they didn't buy, just go back over and see if you figured out what's really important to them, that they know that they can't do it on their own, and then take a look at your solution. Were you listening to them? Did you pay attention to what they wanted? And did you present it in a way that made sense for them to sign up today?